Oh, look at us. We're back. Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. Welcome to the Fourth Watch. For all you people out there who are saying, oh, it's not Christmas, it's pagan, it's Saturnalia, it's all these things. We, as a collective body of Christ, understand that Jesus was alive. He lived. So much historical documentation referenced back to this man's life and his death and his resurrection. And so if our king lived, maybe it's kind of cool to celebrate the idea of him actually being born. What day is sufficient for you? Whoever you are whatever you think. What day works for you? You definitely know all the days we shouldn't do something. What day should we do something that's acceptable to you? Think about how that sounds. How about you allow culture and society to appreciate what we have? If you think, oh, we've been lied to, been deceived, of course we have, about a great number of things. How is celebrating this day gonna somehow detract and deter from who our king is? <laughs> Help me out. Help me out. If you're gonna say like, oh, because we're celebrating pagan days, we do a bunch of other stuff that's probably far, far worse. And look at what we're doing, we're honoring our king. Yeah, maybe if you can say, you know, something we shouldn't be so greedy and so consumer-centric about the holiday. Sure, you have, absolutely have a leg to stand on. Maybe we shouldn't focus on the gifts, focus on our king's presence and the fact that we're gathering as family. I love all that. But the moment that you think that we're somehow getting it wrong because it's possibly another pagan holiday, but we don't celebrate it as the pagans do, Help me out. What day works for you? What day works for you? And then get everyone else on the same page. Can you do that? Oh, you can't. Interesting. Then how about you allow the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, how about you give him a win? How about you roll with the day that we have? How about you take a big step back, pump the brakes and say, God, thank you. Thank you for what you did. Sorry for being a little fussy about this. Trying to get things right. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of chatter. We got to see through it. We gotta speak differently. We gotta speak above these things. Seek above these things. We have to give our God his due, as much due as possible, and not just this day. It's every day. Every day. Give us this day our daily bread. This is whoever you are, I appreciate you. If you're one of those people that think like, oh, we gotta know the truth. We gotta find the truth. We can't give the pagans a day. Why don't you shut down Halloween first, then come for this day? Why don't you why don't you take out like the real big ones, you know, the equinoxes? Why don't you take those out? And even then, they're farming days. So the farmers know what's up and what's supposed to happen. Now you want to do just rob people of like what little fleeting bits of joy they have. High five. You feel better about yourself. You feel good. You feel big and strong. Listen, if God has told you to not do something, then don't do it. If God's told you to do something, then do it. If God's kind of like not said anything and the Bible doesn't really say much about something, proceed accordingly. That's weird. It's like God gave you free will to navigate this place and these things interesting. I wonder what you do with it. Something productive or something destructive? The choice is yours. As for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord and we're going to celebrate Christmas as a family. That's just what we'll do. I don't want to celebrate pagan things. None of us do, but a lot worse things are coming down the pipe. Let's take the wins. Let's enjoy it. Let's have something worth fighting for, okay? Not just people, but our God, our King, and even these things, they mean something because the world is trying to take everything away from us. We should probably push back on that. Just saying. God bless, God speed, get in the word, get in the fight, and for the love of God, get in the Christmas spirit, filthy animals. We'll see ya.